about the jigger today. And if you see my other video where I've been making these planters punch cocktails, you can check that one out up there. I did five fancy jigger pours, which I'm gonna be showing you today. Stick around, these are awesome. Plus, I'm gonna tell you the secrets as to how to make them look good. Cause it's not just about being able to perform the moves, it's being able to make them look good as well. So, let's go. So the first move is a lot of fancying around to get to the pour. But the tricky part is when you swing over. So grab the jigger in between your finger and your thumb and you're gonna grab the bottle in tennis grab from the speed rail. You're gonna turn the jigger over and at the same time you're gonna spin the bottle around like this. So turn over, spin. The bottle comes up to your shoulder, you bring the two together so the pour spout goes inside the jigger and you grab with your fingers. Now it's important now that you're gonna put all the weight down this end. So you wanna swing over. So you see how the bottle stays kind of still, swing over, then you're gonna grab, twist, and you need to be fast, stop your pour, and then you can pour inside your shape. This is a bit of a dangerous move, but if you perform it correctly, you're gonna be fine, and it's always a good idea to get a practice bottle so that you can practice tapping the jigger gently. The bottle you're just gonna hold in this position. You're gonna use the base of the bottle to tap that jigger. So grab the jigger with your palm facing up in between your index finger and your thumb, twist over, and then from there you're gonna throw it flat so it doesn't spin. So it's gonna come across like that. It's gonna hit the base of the jigger. And once it hits it, you just have to catch it for now. As you get better and get more control, you can start trying to catch it at the side that you need. So the whole thing is like this. Yes. Whee! Oh, yes. Yes, the lampshade, because once you put that on top of there, it kind of looks like a lampshade. Mm. So the trick with this is make sure you're using double shot measure to land on top of the bottle. Put it on there first so you know how high you can have your fingers on the bottle. Then you're just gonna learn to throw up and catch it on the bottle like so. Once you've got that and you've understood how to throw up and catch it, then you can start trying to do it from back to front and other positions. Not like that. And other positions. Grab hold of the jigger in between your finger and your thumb. You're gonna swing it up this, in this direction towards you. As it spins past, it's gonna to spin towards you. But as you spin, you're gonna bring your finger into play, you're gonna hit the jigger. So you wanna hit the jigger so it spins in the opposite direction and then you wanna try and catch it, scissor catch it, like so. And then from there, you can pick up your bottle, you can make your pour, you can do what you want, and happy days. You've got the finger tap. So you're gonna grab hold of the jigger, the same grab as we did before, in between your finger and your index finger and your thumb. You're gonna twist, bring your middle finger into play, twist, and then bring your other fingers underneath and twist until you're in this position. Now from there, you can make your first pour and you're gonna tip into your shaker and twist around. Then you're gonna drop it down. Then you're gonna make a thumb roll, basically. So you're gonna push around your thumb, make your second pour. If you're doing a double shot, you pour the same amount each time, and then you're done. The first thing you need to think about is your posture. If you're crouched over, it's not gonna look good. If you're standing up straight and confident, it's gonna look a lot better. Try not to move around with your body too much. The minimal amount of movement is gonna look better. So I'm just performing the moves that are necessary to perform the trick. The third thing to think about is the confidence. So being able to perform the moves with a lot of confidence and not trying to think about it too much 
is going to make these moves look better. And the fourth thing you need to consider to make these moves look better is practice. Make sure you're practicing them and when you've landed the move the first time, don't just think you've got it and that is it. Do it over and over and over again because the more you do it, the better it's going to look and the more entertaining it's going to be for your guests. So there we have it, five fancy jigger paws. I really do appreciate you watching. If you like the video, don't forget to click on the like button. That helps push the video to more people on YouTube. It helps out the algorithm and sends this to more bartenders who may be interested in learning how to throw around one of these fancy little jiggers. Anyway, also you can subscribe and click on that bell so you're notified when my videos go live. I really do appreciate it. And if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. Don't go away just yet. Check out this video next. There's more jigger paws on there and you're gonna just love these because if you like these ones, you're gonna love these ones. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next week, I will see you there.